Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my video tutorial series about Chaos Destruction System in Unreal Engine 5. Yep, you heard right, 5. Sorry for not posting any videos recently, I've been very busy with my work, but uh, in the meanwhile they released Unreal Engine 5 and we are going to dive into this, into chaos in this magical piece of software, yeah. Well, you have to know that uh, Chaos in Unreal Engine 5 has changed a little bit and I don't know if everything will work that I wanted to show you initially but if something won't work I will just simply show you how to do it in 4.26 and maybe they will just fix this bug later because I really wanted this to be a complete guide on chaos destruction system and I want to share as much knowledge as I can guys so let's start our adventure so in this chapter I am going to show you how to download Unreal Engine 5 and configure it for chaos uh, if you don't know how to do it so let's open epic games launcher if you don't have it just google it and download and install and after you open it go to UE5 tab and click download early access oh there is some info that it's early access so it can be not stable and etc just accept it choose install location and we are ready to go click install it's gonna take some time and around 36 gigabytes so I will pause the video and get back to you later alright so when the downloading is finished we can launch it click games and choose first person shooter yeah pick some name for our future game yeah maximum quality no starter content so just let's click create we are going to make a little game through this tutorial series and FPS is gonna be good for explaining chaos and making awesome destruction of course <laughs> Alright, so the first thing we need to do is to check whether all the plugins required by Chaos uh, are enabled. I'm not sure why, but they are sometimes disabled. So let's go to edit plugins and type in field system. Click enable if it's not and yes. Now we have to restart the engine, but wait for it. Let's check uh, the other plugins. So, type chaos, we don't need a chaos cloth now, uh, we need Niagara, chaos solver, uh, we don't need chaos caching actually, uh, we need chaos editor. So yeah, caching and cloths will be in another tutorial, so you can leave them disabled. And planner cut also is important. And yeah. Geometry, Geometry Cache, and that's it. So let's restart the engine. And now we are ready to go. Yeah. We can play our game by pressing this play button. And yep, it's working. All of this is Chaos physics because we are in Unreal Engine 5 and Chaos is default physics system for this engine and we are going to play with it in next tutorials but there is actually one more thing I want to show you in this one it's when you go to content and quixel bridge well it takes a little time because I'm running it for the first time uh, but it's a place where you can find a lot of uh, models and you can use it uh, in your games, I think, for free, uh, if I remember correctly. And the quality is amazing, just check it out and uh, you have to log in first, but you can do it with your Epic account and then you have access to all these great models. So make sure to check it out and 
I used it with Chaos in Unreal Engine 4 and it worked very nicely. You can just uh, drag and drop models to your scene and they are going to be downloaded in low quality just for preview and then this plugin is, is gonna is gonna download it uh, in high quality in the background. That's very nice. Alright, that's all for this tutorial. Leave a comment, subscribe and get ready for some action because our workspace is ready and we can finally start using chaos. So see you in the next one.